Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to show you how to install Notify.sh on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS, which is a third party app store that uh, Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community is creating. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you want to skip ahead on the video, uh, uh, to learn something specific, you can look at the chapters down below. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to be installing Notify.sh. It makes it to where you can have push notifications made easy. And um, it sets up a simple HTTP-based uh, pub sub a notification service. It allows you to send notifications to your phone, desktop, via scripts from any computer or using REST API. It's infinitely flexible and 100% free software. So you can send notifications from the command line. So you use curl. You can use notify.sh CLI and then JS, Go, PS, and Python. And then now you can receive notifications on your phone and then priorities, action buttons, icons, tags, and emojis. You can send files to your phone or your computer. and Or you get notified on your computer using the web app to subscribe to topics as well. And then um, you can publishing messages is just HTTP uh, request away. So pretty much everything under the sun can integrate with Notify. So this is the integrations. And then, um, so, we're going to get to installing it with Big Bear Cost OS. So, a little bit about Big Bear Cost OS is it's a third-party app store uh, uh, made by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. So, um, so once you add this URL to the ad source uh, in the app store, then you, you'll have access to these different Docker Compose apps right here. And... Um, this makes it to where you can do one-click installs, and then I have a little how-to um, down, down here. And then um, to add custom app stores, it's only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 uh, or newer. So make sure you update your Cost OS. So um, we're going to copy this URL right here, and then we're going to go over to our Cost OS and get this installed. So now we're going to go to our Cost OS, and we're going to go to the App Store right here, and then we're going to sh uh, over here to Add Source, and then a text input will pop out, and we're going to paste in the URL that we copied in Big Bear Cost OS, and then we're going to say Add, and then now it's added. So to get Big Bear Cost OS to show over in the categories over here, I'm going to refresh the page real quick. Go back into the app store. Then I'm going to see Big Bear Cost OS right here. And then um, you can see all the apps that you can install with one click. So uh, we can get to installing uh, Notify.sh. So now before we install uh, Notify.sh on uh, your Cost OS, I'm going to go in and explain what will be installed with the Docker Compose. So I'm going to go to an apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to Notify SH right here. And then I'm going to go to Docker Impose. So the name of the application is Big Bear a Notify. And then I'm going to set some services. The service underneath the service is called App. And then if you notice, if you scroll down to Main right here, this lines up with this service. So you have to have those both the same. And then the Docker image will be pulled off of Docker Hub using the latest tag. And um, and how you know it's pulled off Docker Hub is there's no URL before this, so it's defaulting to Docker Hub. And then the command that we're going to run inside the container is serve. And then now environment variables, you can set this to your own time zone in Cost OS. Set to, it's set to UTC by default. And then port configurations. So on the container port, it's 80. In the host port, it's 7200. Uh, uh, if this is colliding with another host port when you're installing this app, 
COS OS will come up and say that it conflicts, so you can change the host port there. And then the protocol is TCP. Now the restart policy is unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, it will try to restart. And then I'm gonna vol uh, mount some volumes. So source uh, on the host is data, app data, and then a dynamic variable to get the app ID and then the cache. And then now uh, on the container is var cache notify. So NTFY. So you cannot change the container side. That goes for this one too. And also, so on the host is data, app data, and then a dynamic variable to get the app ID and then config. And this is on the host side and you can change these if you'd like. And then now in the container is ETC and the NTFY. Now this is specific to Casa OS. So I'm gonna set the architecture supported uh, to AMD64, ARM, and ARM64. The main service name aligns up with this service up here, like I said. And then now a description, a tagline, the developer of the application, and then the author, and then the, the icon URL, and the thumbnail, and title of the application, and then the category. And this is what makes it to where you can set it in the little drop down to uh, filter by it. So it's Big Bear Cost OS. And then it's gonna be 7200 mapped. So uh, the UI port is, is uh, 7200, and you know that because the published port is 7200. So that's a little bit about uh, how the Docker Compose works for the Casa OS app store. So I'm going to start on the Casa OS dashboard. I'm gonna to go to app store, and then I'm going to go over here to Big Bear Casa OS. And then I'm gonna scroll down to notify to SH, click it, and then I'm gonna go, press install. What this is doing in the background is it's uh, downloading the Docker container, starting it up with Docker Compose, and then uh, checking the health of it, and then saying it's, it's able to open. So we can just see if it opens, and it does. So now we can get to explaining uh, the options. So now we got notified SH up. So I'm gonna show you the files. So if you go in the files app, and then you go to app data, big bear notify. So now you have a cache just config. You can um, check mark that one or, or this one. And then you can download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. So this is where your volume lives. So you can back up this and have your config. So I'm gonna exit out of this, and we're gonna get to showing the container options now. So now I'm gonna go over the container options. So if you go over to not Notify to SH, you can open right here. You can also open right here, and then you can set tips. So this is like a little notepad, so you can type in here anything you want, and then press the Save button. And then it reloads the container, says OK. Then you can go back in tips and it did save. So you can go into settings now. You can change some of the options on the container. You press the save button to, to save it. You can also go up here to terminal and logs. And you can have your own self a terminal to where you can go inside of the container. You can see the logs of what happened. It's great for debugging. So um, now we're gonna exit out and you can check for updates on the current tag that it's on. And then you can uninstall the container, restart and power off and on. So that's the container options. So now we're gonna go into the notify.shui. So I'm gonna open it. And then you can see that uh, there's no notifications cause it's brand new install. So all notifications, settings, so you can adjust the notifications down, minimum priority, delete notifications, and then you can add users. And um, so uh, th this is browser uh, 
a base local storage, and then appearance, theme, and then language. And then you can see the documentation. You can publish a notification or you can scribe to a topic. So um, you can say generate a name over here and then subscribe. And then now you can post a notification. You can also go and change the display name and you can send a test notification, clear all notifications, and then um, you can mute a notification. You can mute the notifications here and unmute. You can unsubscribe. So um, you can also publish a notification. So a title, a message, a format, markdown, tags, and um, you can set I say click URL, attach file by URL, attach local file, and delay delivery and change topic. So um, you can go in here and test and testing, and then um, you can send it uh, in the channel. So there you go, right here. And then you can mark as read over here. You can delete these. You can also get notifications over here. You, you can un un unmute and mute, I mean. And then um, you have the same options as you do over here. So that's a little bit about notify.shaui. So I just went over step by step on how to get Big Bear Cost OS installed and get no notify.sh installed. I, sh I showed you about the can container options. Uh, where the files are located, different things like that. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go on the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.